the transmembrane protein ephrin A1 present on an adjacent cell binds to the inactive EPHA4 receptor on the growth cone of axon. This is the binding region of ephrin A1 and inactive EPHA4 receptor. The growth cone of axon is the migrating tip of the axon. Ephrin A1 is a guidance protein. Ephrins have many functions both in nervous system and outside the nervous system. Another protein called as apexin is stably associated with the cytosolic tail of EPHA4 receptor. The apexin is a type of Rho GEF. Rho GEF stands for Rho guanine nucleotide exchange factor. Due to the binding of ephrin A1 and inactive EPHA4 receptor, the inactive EPHA4 receptor get phosphorylated on its tyrosine amino acid. Due to this phosphorylation, the inactive EPHA4 receptor becomes active. The phosphotyrosine on the activated EPHA4 receptor then recruits cytosolic inactive tyrosine kinase and activates it. The active tyrosine kinase then phosphorylates a tyrosine amino acid on the apexin. Due to this phosphorylation, the apexin becomes active. In the growth cone of axon, a membrane-bound protein called as Rho A present in its inactive conformation in a GTP-bound state. The Rho A is a monomeric GTPH. The active apexin then induces the exchange of GTP for the Rho A-bound GTP. Now, the Rho A is bound to GTP. Due to this GTP binding, the inactive Rho A undergoes a conformational change. As a result of this conformational change, the Rho A becomes active. The active Rho A then induces myosin-mediated actin filament contraction and growth cone collapse. Let us consider the case in which the EPHA4 receptor is present without ephrin A1 binding. In this case, apexin stably associated with cytosolic tail of EPHA4 receptor about equally activates CDC42, Rho A and RAC. These three proteins are members of Rho family. These active CDC42, Rho A and RAC promote growth cone extension. Let us consider another case in which the EPHA4 receptor is present with ephrin A1 binding. This is the ephrin A1 on the adjacent cell bound to the EPHA4 receptor on the growth cone of axon. A protein called apexin is stably associated with the cytosolic tail of EPHA4 receptor. Due to the binding of ephrin A1 with EPHA4 receptor, the EPHA4 receptor get phosphorylated on its tyrosine amino acid. Due to this phosphorylation, the EPHA4 receptor becomes active. The phosphotyrosine on activated EPHA4 receptor then recruits cytosolic inactive tyrosine kinase and activates it. The active tyrosine kinase then phosphorylates a tyrosine amino acid on the apexin. Due to this phosphorylation, the apexin becomes active. The active apexin now mainly activates Rho A. 
the active rho a then causes the growth cone to collapse besides rho a the active affection also activates cdc 42 and rac the active cdc 42 and rac also cause the growth cone to collapse there are more than 60 rho gefs in humans please like subscribe and share